Okay, guys, so we've been studying uh, a lot of half guard stuff recently. So I want to talk a little bit about the half guard concepts. Half guard is one of those guards, right? Like I've told the white belts. First, we start out with closed guard. Once we get pretty good at mastering closed guard, we start learning half guard as well, right? It can be a very offensive or a defensive position as well. There's different kinds of half guard. There's some good half guards and some bad half guards, okay? That's the first part I want to cover here. So for the half guard players that we're going to cover, this is a good half guard. This is a bad half guard. Check it out. Here's an example of a bad half guard. You can see here how the person on the bottom Right, they don't have an ability to get their frames in, they can't get their hands in, they can't get their elbows in. Person on top is doing a great job applying pressure. Person on the bottom literally stuck, cannot go anywhere. This here is an example of a good half guard. You can see I'm framing with my forearm, I got my knee shield in, my other hand is controlling the wrist so she can't win and hug my head. She can't put her weight on me because my knee's there to push her away. My bottom leg is holding on to her. My top hand is holding on to that lapel right there. The second example of a good half guard is going to be like the coyote half guard over here, where we have that underhook and we have elbow or hand on the ground. And then eventually we're going to come up to our knees here. And you can see the leg work in the back here is very, very important. Coming up with that outside leg and hooking her foot and making her knee like reap a little bit. Be gentle with your partners when you drill this. The third and final half guard that we have here is gonna be the deep half guard. Okay, and the way that we're getting into it, we're gonna cover that real soon here, but making sure we're controlling that belt, keeping her butt low on the ground, hiding my other arm so that she can't keep more of me, can't key lock that arm. And both knees pointing up in the air, her foot off the ground. The beginning of the series starts with us just being able to get into a half guard. Pulling from our feet straight into a knee shield position right here. Already making our grips, frame, and controlling the wrist. Second option that we have over here is going to be pulling into like a half guard and right away going straight up into our knees, fighting for that underhook, getting into that coyote half guard dog fighting position. All right, guys, so we got ourselves to a good half guard over here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this leg through, fight for my underhook, come up, okay, on my elbows. Next part, so we'll come around, okay, this part is very important, is the detail on the legs, okay. Uh, we call this like the coyote half guard, where this foot is going to come up and hook that ankle over here. Okay, puts a lot of pressure on her knee, twisting out towards the outside. And then this leg is going to come out, and I'm coming up to my knees. Slow down the video a little bit so you can see here on the left the front view of the walk around sweep and on the right the back view of the walk around sweep where you can see the footwork and everything that's needed to make it work. Okay, so everything the same for the second part, right? I got to a good half guard. Okay. Partner's got a good base over here. I'm trying to drive in, but she's got a little bit smarter. She's smarter. She starts driving back in, puts this leg up in the air. Okay, so she can really put pressure. Now we're in this dog fight. I'm not really going anywhere if I just drive in. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm, I'm gonna make sure this wrist is trapped in there. This hand's gonna roll all the way under and I'm gonna look to grip her pants with it. This knee is gonna pinch tight and go under this knee over here. So everything at once, roll all the way through. And then pressure in, control the pants, stabilize the position. The important part here is making sure we really hook that knee, right? And we really drive into her like we want to hit that walk around sweep. She has to believe it. And then when she believes it, we go the other way, use her own momentum. So the first part was pulling half guard. We got that. Second part, getting a good 
half guard. Stabilizing a good half guard, we got that. Third part is we came up on that leg looking for a walk around sweep, okay? We got that. And then after the person defended the walk around sweep, we went for the roll, got that, okay? The next part is when we go for the roll, maybe the person anticipates it just a little bit early, they get their arms out and they're able to post, okay? So when they do that, we also have an answer for it. We're gonna enter the deep half now. So we pulled half guard from the feet, right? Got to a good half guard right here. Frame me where she can't smash me in. Second part, we got to our starting to walk around sweep, right? Where this arm went for an underhook, all the way down here. I adjusted to the coyote half guard where I hook her knee, hook her ankle down there. Coming up to my knees, right? Started driving in, but breeze too tough. She drives back in. And now I went for the roll, but she's also smart. She got rolled three times already. So now she's gonna defend it by letting go of the wizard and posting, right? So now from here, I'm forced to enter the deep half position. I'm gonna take this hand, okay? And I'm gonna push her armpit and keep pushing her forward. I'm gonna take this hand back here and I'm gonna grab either her belt or her pants and I'm gonna keep pushing her that way so I can get really deep underneath her, okay? And now I'm gonna grab her belt and I'm gonna pull her back and get her into a good deep half position. I'm gonna take this arm and I must hide this arm over here so I don't get attacked. Okay, hide that elbow. Other hand is here. As you can see, both of my knees are pointing up in the air, right? So I don't want my knees here. I also wanna make sure that her foot is not touching the ground. If she puts her foot on the ground, now she's gonna be very heavy. If she does that, I gotta pull her back, adjust, keep my knees tight. I can cross, I can go under. These are all good. Okay, but this is the deep half position. I'm deep underneath her here. I have the belt control in the back or pants control if she doesn't have the belt. I'm also hiding this arm. Now I'm here. So I've got myself to half guard. Okay, good half guard control, shield, knee shield, framing, wrist control so she doesn't win my head. Coming up underneath, hooking the leg, coyote half guard. Coming up to my knees driving into her, she drives back, right? I'm gonna try to roll under. She got smart this time, so as she goes, I go to roll under, she posted. Okay, as she posts, this arm goes to the armpit, other one to the hips, and I grab the belt. This arm is gonna get hidden, point my knees up in the sky, get her foot off the ground, okay? And then my head's here. Gotta make sure she doesn't hug my head. Okay, so with your other arm. There, I don't want that. So I really hide my head underneath. If she starts giving me trouble, okay, then I'm gonna start giving her trouble. I'm gonna start swinging one way, start swinging the other way. And next week, we'll get to work on those things. Okay, friends, so we're gonna cut it at that for now, okay, all the way to get into the deep half. Next part of the series is we're gonna learn the concepts of deep half and how to work from deep half and the different finishes from deep half and the counters that people are gonna try to hit you with deep half and how we're gonna score from deep half, okay? And then we'll move on from there. But for now, this week, I want you guys to focus on this uh, as well as the stuff from the fundamentals. And then next week, I got some more new stuff for you guys that we're gonna record throughout this week. Keep it up. Don't forget to subscribe, like our channels, uh, share our videos.